Hello, party people. This is J.R. Benton, a.k.a. 730, with another public service announcement. Uh, we're going to talk about um, what is success in America. Success in America is becoming what America wants you to become and following the plan that they have designed for you from the time you're born until the time you die. There are two types of people, leaders and followers. The followers are born, they go to what... Um, I call concentration camps. They call it school for eight hours a day. They take your children. See, this is back in, in, in the day when they conquered other countries and things like that. What they did with the survivors, they either took them prisoner or they killed them. And the prisoners they took were usually children. Why? Because they could train them to be whatever they wanted them to be from a young age. And then they would never turn against them. So they took these children from their families and trained them to be their soldiers and their slaves and things like that. And they grew up loving these people because they became their uh, parent figures. Now, uh, fast forward to America. Um, back in the day, I believe people used to teach their own children, like whatever trade you did, if you cut down trees, you would teach your children to cut down trees. And that's what your family would be, tree cutters or whatever you call them, uh, loggers, uh, lumberjacks, whatever. But... Everybody had their trades and whatever your family was known for, that's what you learned how to do. And <clears> only <throat> people who uh, had to go to like school and stuff like that were writers and poets and things like that, uh, artists, because they had to learn how to read and write. Everybody else that just did a regular job that didn't require such things just learned how to do that job. Bakers from the time they were born, I guess, learned how to bake stuff. Now, in America, it's a little different. Um, they do the same thing that people do when they conquer a village. Send us your kids for eight hours a day while you're out there working and supporting our country with your hard work. And we're going to train your kids eight hours a day to do whatever it is we tell them. And then once they grow up, we're going to send them to college and then they can pay us to go to school because we let them go to school for free for 12 years. Then your kids go to college and they have to, uh, that costs money. And after they get out of college, they have to pay that money back. They pay it back to who? to the government institutions that started education. So they get they, they train your kids from eight hours a day from the time they're born all the way up until they're grown. Instead of you teaching your own children what you want them to know, they're brainwashing them and feeding them whatever it is they want them to know. Do this and uh, once you get out of here, you're gonna take this trade that we decided you should have through testing and things like that. They, that's what all those tests and things for so they can separate everyone and the ones who excel academically they put over here in one category and the rest of them they send over here that's why they have trade schools and things like that okay well you're not smart enough to go to college so we're going to train you to fix cars we're going to train you to cut grass train you to to be cosmetology and all that stuff and that's where they send you afterwards and then the people they they, they suckered into going to college all right now you're the elites you're the ones who followed all the instructions we gave you you're going to go here we're going to teach you some type of trade you're going to pay us back for the rest of your life all this money that we gave into your education and you're going to work for us you're going to come over here and you're going to lead these people you went to school with your whole lives the, the rest of them that weren't smart enough to go to school they become the followers they become the people who the government trained to just get up go to work every day pay your taxes until you die until you're 70 years old you're you're 100 part of this machine moving forward making sure it doesn't stop and then the other people the ones they brainwash the most the ones they talk them to going to college the ones that's going to pay them back that college money for the rest of their lives and that's why they got to work twice as hard as the as the uh people at the bottom because they're the ones they chose to be the leaders they're the ones they brainwash and telling the rest of you what you're supposed to think so they got these people in college going through their little experience. And when they get out, they put them in charge of the other people and tell them that they're better than them. These people work for you. You don't socialize with them. You're, you're above them. So that's how there are two classes of people and two mindsets. And and like none of this is unity. None of this works. Uh, society would be better if everybody was basically the same on the same level and we could all uh, <clears throat> enjoy things together. Everybody only uses as much as they need it. But no. In society, we have to have rich people and poor people because that's how it works. The poor people support the rich people and the rich people stay rich. And if you're not one of the rich people, you will never be one of the rich people according to them because they will never give you the keys to open any of the doors you need to walk through in order to become rich. So if you're part of the society, you need to make your own decisions. You need to do what you want, uh, following what they tell you to do and, and, and submitting yourselves to society's rules and, and their uh predetermined uh, prejudices and things that they've, they've set up for our failure is, is you're just setting yourself up for failure. You don't need them to do it.
I've never been a follower. I've never done what anyone told me to do. I've never followed anyone's expectations other than mine. So my life, even if I'm, whether I'm doing good or bad, I'm always happy because I'm always doing what I want to do. Even if it turns out bad, at least I made the decision for me to get to this point. Nobody else said, well, you need to go down here and do this and do this and do this. And the people who don't follow the rules, they have another place for you. It's called jail and institution. Either you commit a crime and they put you somewhere where um, and they set it up to where you're constantly coming back to this place and constantly coming back to this place. That's your new school. And they and until you get to the point where they brainwash you into that, where you don't want to go back to jail anymore. So then you follow all the rules outside because, oh, I don't want to get locked up. I don't want to get locked up. I don't want to get locked up. So the whole rest of the time you are following the rules, but they had to beat you into submission. It's the same thing. One way or another, you're going to do what these people want you to do. You're going to go to school every day and eight hours a day from the time you're born until the time you're grown and learn what it is they want you to learn until you can spit that shit verbatim. And once they get you out here in society, you got to get up every day. You got to go to work. got to raise your family. got to do this. got to do this. You're a marcher, worker, aunt. And that's what your life is from then on. And then if you're good enough at doing that, they put you in charge of something. They send you to college and then they say, well, you can tell these other motherfuckers what to do. And you're like, yeah, that's what I've always wanted to do. Sure. The American dream. And then if you don't follow the rules, they send you to jail or prison. They either keep you there or they keep sending you back enough times to where you are reformed or until you never come out again. <clears throat> either way, all they do is win, 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 no matter what. And the people who... Uh, who stay away from the jails and the colleges and the schools and the institutions and still do what they want are usually entertainers, people who, who have talent. And that's all they're good at is, is, is not following the rules. So they, be, they, they play sports and, and act and direct and things like that. And they're the only people who live outside of these rules. But at the end of the day, all the money that they make from doing all these things, they have to give and support to Dun, 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 the people in charge and if they don't then they get rid of them as well they'll blacklist them so they can't make any more movies and everything and then what happens when the superstar goes broke you see them working at the same job you work at why because they thought <coughs> they were better than the system they fought against the system they lived outside the system but once the system decided hey you can't do that anymore then they're right back in here with everybody else so you either play by their rules or you make your own rules but either way think for yourself if you want to be a drone, choose to be a drone. Don't let them tell you, well, you have to do this. No, you decide to be a drone or a moron or whatever it is you want to be. And if you're intelligent, decide to make your own decisions and do whatever makes you happy in life. It doesn't matter. This has been another public service announcement by J.R. Ben, a.k.a. 730. Be yourself.